Hi, I'm Carol Kretschmann. I'm the founder of the Peace in the Street Global Film Festival that we have every year at the United Nations. And I'm always excited to welcome the young people from Bachelor School in Indiana. And I, uh, I'm so excited that you won again another award. What can we expect next year for the contest? We're very excited to announce that next year, Peace of the Street Film Festival is going to be part of the United Nations 75th birthday and will be the official under-18 film festival for the United Nations to celebrate their birthday next year. Did you enjoy the videos from this year? Oh, I think every, all the videos every year have been terrific, but this year's crop was even better. To get all the films are getting more professional. The young people are thinking about bigger things and bigger pictures about what life is all about. I don't know whether or not it's, it's just because of what's happening here in the political world, but certainly we have a lot more interest in uh, our future. What do you look for in a film? Creativity and, a, and an original thought and to stick with the themes that we uh, have been working with. Peace in the Street is one, it's pretty broad. It means how do you make peace in your life? What, what would be better for your life in, in another way? And now that we've added the Sustainable Development Goals, which are part of the UN focus for 2030, we have a lot more subject matter. So we've given uh, you filmmakers uh, more uh, meat to put on the bones, as they say. Thank you. We'll start with our first place winner. That is Perfectly Imperfect. Millie Williams, Mallory Anderson, and Tiana Hicks. Come on up. wanted to just kind of bring that out in the film and we're so proud of how it turned out. We we're very, very glad we could be here today. And that is Struggle for Democracy. Mason Elkins, William Alsa, and Spencer White. Come up guys. Congratulations. Good prizes. and some words. Yeah, so this film was about the past events and how we can change the world. Um, it was up about like the China, like the more. Yeah, that's how you say so. Yeah, it was really fun making it and I'm so glad that we placed it. Yay. Um, thank you everyone. Thanks, uh, Mr. Rukin, for your help. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And I believe we have an honorable mention for the winners age group 9 to 13.
Okay, it's The Truth of Beauty, Ellis Clark and Anson Reynolds. Yeah, right. congratulations. So, my video is The Truth of Beauty. Unfortunately, my partner couldn't be here today, but um, thank you to Mr. Redkin, our teacher, and all the time he puts in. And we really appreciate the opportunity to be here today. So. <laughs> great. No, great job. Thank you. Congratulations. All right. So you all know that there's a big focus on the 2030 S Sustainable Development Goals. There's 19 SDGs, and what they're hoping we can do as the, our filmmakers is to lead the way for uh, making those initial important changes, climate, um, saving animals, uh, peace, identity, migration. It's, it's just a, a potpourri of the wishes and the hopes of this uh, wonderful place that we can, by 2030, have a better handle on those kinds of things. So we added last year an SDG award vertical, and this year we had some wonderful films, and we will be doing it, of course, for the 75th anniversary birthday party. It's all yours. So we have the second place winner, The World That Was Us, and that's Dylan Stegmuller, Caitlin Smith, and Jackson Moore. It's an honor to be here and to know our video was put into good hands, per se. Um, our partner, Jackson, wasn't able to make it. He's in Arizona in a boot, so yeah. Long story, but anyway. Um, our video was about uh, spreading our word to the younger generation and mainly to get our word out that it's important for just to do small things in the community and keep peace for our younger generation. Um, like Dylan said, it's an honor to be here, but we spent a lot of time on this video, so it's really special to get recognized at the United Nations. 